Okay, this is the first of two videos in which I show you how to make a seamless repeating pattern design. Um, in this first video, I'm going to be showing you how to do that in Photopea. Um, I open up my pattern motif document. This is part one of the project where I've got my background color and I've got my I've got three motifs here. And I'm going to create a new file on which I'm going to create the pattern repeat. So it's going to be file new. And I'm going to name this title this repeat pattern. I'm going to go 10 inches wide by 10 inches high. And I'm going to set the DPI to 300. So it's good, good quality resolution. And then I click create. Right, I need to put some guides here to help me with the with the cutting and the rearranging that we're going to be doing. So I'm going to go up to view and then add guides. I'm going to make sure that this is set to inches, not pixels. And I set a guide at 5 horizontal by 5 vertical. Say OK. Then I'm going to go back to pattern motif. I'm going to bring these uh, elements over to the, to the other document. So I'm going to grab that, hold it, and then drop it on. Uh, I can resize this. This is my background color. Resize it to fit. And I'm going to bring the motifs over one at a time, actually. So placing them into the middle. I think I'm going to start with the mountain. I'm going to click on the mountain. I'm going to drag this up to here. Set it down. Looks like it got set up here. Got to make sure I pull it down there. Now it didn't bring the whole thing, so I'm going to go back, make sure I'm grabbing the whole thing here at once. Uh, because the, my mountain folder had been... So see, I've got the snow and then I've got the mountain bottom. So I'm going to cl close up that folder. Let me just rename this real quick. Double click on folder 1. Call that mountain. Now I'm going to take the whole, the grouped layer, and I'm going to drag that up, and then drop it down, and then I'm going to make it nice and big. Now this thing is going to, um, it's going to be cut up, so I'm actually going to, I want to place it pretty close to the middle doesn't need to be exact. And then I'm going to make sure that this mountain, I'm going to go ahead and merge those layers because right now they're, they're separated layers there. So I'm going to go layer, um, merge layers. Then I'm actually going to merge it with the square that's underneath it as well. So I'm going to go layer, merge layers. And now this is all on one layer because I'm going to be cutting through it. So then I'm going to go to the selection tool underneath the move tool. I'm going to use, be using these guides as a help. I'm going to drag down and select half of this. And then I'm going to go to new layer via copy. All right, so I just made a copy of the right-hand side, and I'm going to take that and I'm going to move it to the left. This is just like that exercise that we did when we cut up the paper a while back now. I'm going to take the one on the right and I'm going to move this over, line this up. Make sure that you're using those guides so that's really snapping to the guides because we want this thing to line up really well. Um, and then I'm going to take the two and I'm going to go layer, merge layers. And I bring those two layers together. I'm going to go back to the pattern motif and I'm going to grab my next element, which here's my W. 
I'm going to take the W, I'm going to drag it up here and then drop it. Resize this. Again, more towards the middle. Maybe I go with something like that, or let's see what it looks above. With some of these, you have to, you know, you might have to, you might do a repeat, and then you might decide, oh, I like, you know, maybe if I rearrange something a little bit differently, I'd have a better design. And you can definitely try that. This is a pretty easy process, so try it a couple different ways. But I think that looks okay, the way it's positioned. And then I'm going to take, again, the two. I'm taking the W. I'm holding Shift to select the two layers. And I'm going to go Layer, Merge Layers. And now I'm going to select here again. And I'm going to go down here. And I'm going to go Layer. I'm selecting the top. And I'm going to swap the top and the bottom new layer um, via copy. So I just made a copy of the top part and that is going to go down. Again, be using these see those red tells, tells me that I'm snapping right to where I want to be and then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to be moving this up. And so you can see what's going to happen is that it snaps to the guide. Is that this shape, right, this W is going to finish right here, as are the mountains. And then I can take my carabiner. Go down here to the carabiner. Let's see. This is all in folder two. So I'm just going to rename this one here too. Carabiner. I'm going to take this, drag this, drop it up. It's got to make sure it's in front. Reorder. Okay, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And you know what the W, I could probably use the, could probably set the W in here again, just use it as another, use it as a motif again. I'm going to go back, grab the W, and I'm going to drag it up here. I'm going to drop it in. This one I'm going to keep a little bit smaller, and I'm going to tilt the other way. And it's okay to actually reuse um, elements from your design if you like. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to take these layers now that I have, and I'm going to hold Shift. And if you had a fourth motif, you could always bring it in that way. And I'm going to go Layer, um, Merge the Layers. And then I'm going to select this area. I actually don't want anything, well, it actually cut all that down, which is which is great. So I can take this one and I can shift and make it smaller and fill this one particular this one little box. And then I'm going to take that, I'm going to go layer, duplicate the layer. Drag that out and connect it. Again, using those guides to help me to snap to it. But I want to zoom in and make sure that everything's lining up really well also. And I could actually take both of these, shift, select them together, go layer, duplicate layer. Drag this out. So for this project, what I was looking for to see you do was at least get um, repeat it, tile it four different times. So I have a repeating pattern that tiles at least four times here. Um, if you want to take it a step further, what you can do is you can um, 
I'm going to group these layers all together, so or merge them together. Layer, merge layers. And then I'm going to scale it down. And now this is to do it, tile it 16 times. So I'm going to make that fit the box. Layer, duplicate layer. And then again, using the, making sure it snaps. Layer, duplicate layer. So I do this one more time. Just zoom it in, make sure everything's been lining up really good. And there's my repeating pattern. Now, if you do this, you know, you size things differently, you're going to get different kinds of effects each time. So you could even try, you know, it's pretty, pretty easy steps. You could try a couple different ones and see which one you like best. Like maybe I might want to make the mountain bigger in the next one. Um, but this is what we're going for, a repeating pattern, seamless pattern design. And you could continue to tile this thing and it would just, it would always create a repeating pattern that connects together. All right, so when I'm done, I'm going to group all this together. So I'm going to go layer. Um, actually, I can just say flatten image. And that flattens it down. And I'm going to go to file, uh, save as PSD. That will download the document. And I could upload that to this project assignment. I could also go um, file, export as a PNG. All right, take a look at that. Looks good quality. Go ahead and save. And now this PNG is something that I could, you know, post or um, print and get a really good result from it. All right, that's it.